Hey, what's up people? Richard here from Blast Mode. Usually I just post my game development screenshots online on Twitter and I kind of leave it at that. But that's about to change. I decided to start making game development videos and this is the first one. In this video, we'll take a look at what happened in 2019 for my company Blast Mode and also what's on the horizon in 2020. And I hope you'll enjoy. With that being said, let's get started. Let's go way back to the beginning of 2019. I had just turned 30 and was hit by something similar to a mm, midlife crisis. I didn't like where my life was going. I was still working for someone else while my lifelong dream had been to start a game company of my own. Luckily, when I opened my heart about my issues to my boss and my colleagues, I was met with understanding. We came to an agreement where I could work on my own projects while still working for Turtle Blaze. Obviously, there's a bit more to the story than that, but to summarize, early that year, I started Blast Mode. Blast Mode is the company for my personal projects, and its first game is going to be Mighty Goose. Mighty Goose is a very simple concept. It's a running gun platform shooter starring a goose. Yes, a goose. I had drawn the goose character a few years ago in a sketchbook while on holiday. As a joke, I put the sketch up on my Patreon as a goal. If I reach this goal, I'll make this game happen. If the goal would be met, I had intended to make a very low effort game that would just look silly. Sure enough, the goal was met. So I started working on that little game just as I promised. But the more I worked on it, the more the character grew on me. The joke started to become a lot more serious. This really had the potential to be like one of my favorite games of all time, Metal Slug. Over the early months of 2019, I would take the concept from mock-up to prototype. I let my patrons play and give their feedback. This has helped a bunch to steer the game in the right direction. And from that period onward, I've been working on the game at a relaxing pace. Most of the time, I'd be working on Kunai, my other project, under the company Turtle Blaze. That did give me enough time to completely flesh out the environments, the characters and the world of Mighty Goose. Now that work on Kunai has been completed, I know exactly what I want to make. I've managed to add quite a few mechanics and enemies to the game already, and in the current build there are already lots of enemies to play around with. Three weapons are fully implemented and even a few vehicles. Combining these elements in different ways already makes for some very interesting gameplay situations. And I can't wait to exploit them in the final levels. Speaking about levels, I'm happy to say that the first level of the game has been completed. I'm very happy with how it turned out. It even has some secrets and you just cannot make a Metal Slug style game and not have secrets. Looking back at 2019, I'm very happy I started Blast Mode. It was something that I really wanted, but also something that I was kind of afraid of. What will my colleagues and my friends say when I tell them that I basically want something else in my life? And what if it completely fails? These fears were definitely holding me back, and I was lucky enough to speak to a few people that encouraged me to push onwards. A big part of that support has been through Patreon, I want to thank each and every one of my patrons for their support, whether it's small or big. You guys showed me that there are people out there who believe in me and what I'm doing, and that gave me a lot of strength and motivation to carry on. I'm making Mighty Goose because of your support through Patreon. So for that, you have my thanks. And I guess that kind of was 2019. Working on two awesome games has made it a very good and busy year. Kunai will be releasing soon, and I hope you'll enjoy it. What's next on the horizon? Mighty Goose. Mighty Goose Level 2 to be specific. The Desert Sands. I also hope to be releasing more video content, so keep an eye out for that. And that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.